Hi, in this video we're going to show you a nice older tool you could use to make photo collages. So this is called Microsoft Research Auto Collage 2008. So as you can see it's a really old program but it still works quite well even on Windows 11. Alright, so once you download it you'll need to install it uh, but one catch is that you'll need .NET Framework 3.5 to install it and fortunately you could just go to Control Panel And then to Programs and Features, turn Windows Features on or off, and then just check the box for .NET 3.5, let it do its installation, you'll have to reboot, and then you could come back and install the app after that. Alright, so let's try it out here. Okay, so by default it'll just grab all of your pictures from your Pictures folder and their subfolders and just put them all in there at once and then you can narrow it down as well which we'll show you here all right so there were a couple images that were too small so it ignored those all right so up here we have the option to decide how many pictures are in your slideshow right now it's 11 and you can slide it up and down and if there are not enough pictures in that folder you're not going to be able to do more than you have pictures for all right so let's say 17 and we'll just do one with all the pictures here to begin with just to show you how it works here click on create it does this little animation thing loading the images all right and there's our collage just like that and let's say you want to narrow it down. Let's say we wanted just our Hawaii pictures here. Now it's asking if we want to discard the collage, so we'll say yes. All right, so now it's loading all the pictures from that one folder. And now we could adjust the slider if we want to do more or less. Let's go for maybe 10 this time. Click on Create. All right, then if you like it, you could uh, click on Save. Save it on the desktop here. And there's our collage. And then you could also set it as your desktop image. All right, then you have the email option here too. But if you click on that, You'll need to set up an Outlook profile to use Outlook or your whatever your default email client is. I'm sure it's not going to work, you know, trying to send it to a Gmail email. So I don't have Outlook on this computer, so this is not going to work here. All right, so let's check out some options real quick. So you have some different settings here. So default is 4x6 landscape, and then you can change it up to these settings here. And it'll also go up to your resolution of your monitor. So I'm recording at 1600 by 900, so that's why it says that. So it's kind of on the lower end. And then we can change the size for the top rank image, second rank image, the overlap, and so on. And then we have some custom output size as well, if you want to change that from the 4x6 landscape. And here's the input. Display detected faces. Display ranking information. And if you want to look up how that works, you can click on the link and you can do manual ranking as well. Alright, so then registration we're not worried about. And if you click here, you can set the default folder for what it's going to look for. So if you don't want it to pull from your main pictures folder, you could pick a subfolder here and then have that be your main folder. That way you don't have to click on it down here to select the actual folder that you want. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it, but as you can see, it does a pretty good job of making a nice little blended collage there based on your pictures. And then of course, like you saw, you could tweak some of the settings too to have some pictures be more of the main pictures than others, and then see how that works out for you. Plus, you could change the size if it's something you're going to print or put on your desktop and that type of thing. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download the Auto Collage app. 
and then like I said, just install the dot network 3.5 and that's all you need to do. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.